FBI cover-up exposed 30 hidden Clinton Lynch tarmac docks found by Gary Mayer for USA Politics Today. In late June of 2016, a now infamous and suspicious meeting on the tarmac of the Phoenix airport was held between former President Bill Clinton and then Attorney General Loretta Lynch. That meeting occurred just days prior to then-FBI Director James Comey's announcement that former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton would not face criminal charges related to her private email server scandal, even as it was admitted that she was in violation of the law. At the time, the Obama administration, parroted by the liberal media, assured the American public that had that nothing of consequence was discussed in that tarmac meeting. Literally nothing more than a conversation about golf and grandchildren, but not everybody bought that story, as noted by Zero Hedge. In fact, a number of responsible journalists and watchdog groups filed Freedom of Information Act requests with the Justice Department and the FBI to obtain any and all documents related to the tarmac meeting. It was hoped that the exposure of such documents would reveal whether the meeting really was innocent as claimed or if it bore any relation to the then ongoing investigation into then Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton's highly questionable email practices. Shortly thereafter, the FBI declared that they had no documents whatsoever related to the tarmac meeting, but that declaration has since turned out to be untrue. Watchdog group Judicial Watch announced in October that they had been informed that, lo and behold, the FBI had suddenly discovered 30 pages of documents related to the tarmac meeting, which would be turned over for public release by the end of November. However, it appears that admission only came due to a similar FOIA request filed with the Justice Department, which did result in tarmac meeting documents being turned over, as well as the discovery of the FBI documents that initially were declared non-existent. The FBI is out of control. It's stunning that the FBI found these Clinton Lynch tarmac records, only after we caught the agency hiding them in another lawsuit, stated Tom Fitton, president of Judicial Watch. Judicial Watch will continue to press for answers about the FBI's document games in court. In the meantime, the FBI should stop the stonewall and release these new records immediately, he added. The documents slated to be released November 30th, would provide further insight into the FBI's investigation of Clinton's email scandal and may even force the release of their investigative file. Furthermore, it could show that Clinton and some of her associates were granted preferential treatment by the investigative agency, most notably the immunity agreements that were reportedly handed out to a number of individuals in exchange for their testimony. However, while many people anxiously await the release of these previously hidden documents, not everyone is expecting to find any bombshell information within them, such as noted investigative journalist Cheryl Atkinson. In my experience, the Fed agencies typically only hand over what they think you already know about to ha or have. Little confidence we ever get all the public docs we're really entitled to. Judicial Watch, D DOJ informed uh, Judicial Watch that the FBI located 30 pages of docs referenced the Clinton-Lynch tarmac meeting in 2016. DOJ says docs will be released by the end of the month. It is stunning that the FBI found this only after we caught the agency hiding it in another lawsuit. Let's take a quick listen here. Judicial Watch just found out today that the FBI has 30 new pages of documents about the Clinton Lynch tarmac meeting, that scandalous meeting that took place last year. The FBI initially had told Judicial Watch it had no documents. 
but separate judicial watch lawsuit that uncovered the Clinton tarmac meeting records of the Justice Department found documents showing that the FBI did have documents after all. So therefore, they went back and they searched, and turns out they found new documents. This is a scandal. I think the FBI was hiding these documents, you and we only just caught them because of this other lawsuit. We got to have them released as quickly as possible. Perhaps Atkinson's view is a bit jaded and cynical, but then again, she has plenty of experience when it comes to being given the runaround by federal agencies during the Obama administration era. Maybe this release will restore a bit of her faith in what is supposed to be a transparent government. Yeah, we can keep on dreaming. You think they're going to get them... Uh, to release. They're going to be redacted, if anything, most likely. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.